Day Leaf Table. So today I will show you a very popular poppy seed roll that we make in our country. So let's see what ingredients we need. First thing we are going to activate the yeast. I am going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar, all right? two scoops of flour, all right? and I have here about half cup of milk but I'm not going to use it all, I'm just going to add a few tablespoons. So let's see, one, two, three, five, oh, four, five. Mix it well until you obtain a paste. All right, I'm going to cover it and let it rise for about 35 minutes. Add three egg yolks to your yeast mixture, plus two scoops of sugar, a cup of warm milk, and a cup of flour. Then empty your bowl into your working area and begin kneading. Add flour as necessary. Next, add half stick of butter into your dough and continue kneading. Okay, so I am done kneading. This is how uh, you should look when you're done with your dough. I have here a clean bowl. I am going to add about a teaspoon of oil before adding my dough. Cover it and let it rise for one hour. I have here one and two thirds cup of a poppy seeds. I am going to crush them for about two or three minutes. Place a kettle on the stove on medium heat. Then add the milk and brown sugar into it. Let it come to almost a boil, then add the poppy seeds. Mix very well until it becomes a thick paste. Be patient, this will take several minutes. Oil your working area and split the dough in two chunks. Beat one egg white until it becomes very fluffy. pinch of salt to the poppy seed mixture, then pour in the egg white. Mix until well incorporated. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So I have here a baking tray and I put some parchment paper on it and I'm going to start making my rolls. 
take a chunk and smooth it out with your fingers into a large oval. Then spoon the puppy seed filling onto the dough until it's well covered. Make sure you leave 2 inches for a border. Tuck the ends under slightly and repeat the process with the remaining. Sprinkle with poppy seeds and bake it for 45 minutes or until golden brown. You have to let it cook completely, but I'm just going to cut a little piece just to show the consistency inside. Thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video today if you did so make sure to subscribe and ring the bell button for notifications on my next videos and also check out my uh, instagram page bayleaf table 87 bye